Hey guys, how's it going? Louis here from Singularity Film and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick comparison between a Tiffin one quarter Pro Mist filter and the glow effect in DaVinci Resolve. First and foremost to see if there's a difference between the two, secondly to see what we think looks more cinematic and thirdly to see whether it's worth spending hundreds on these really nice filters or whether you can just achieve a very similar effect right in DaVinci itself. All right then, so without wasting any time, first of all, let's take a look at our setup without any filters or effects added. So as you can see, we have a very simple shot setup. We're using our Aperture Key Light, a Razor 7 as a hair light way off in the background, and our Paragos Light Tube off to the side so you can easily see what the Promise filter and the glow effect in DaVinci are gonna be doing to our shot. So first, let's jump straight in and look at our shot without any Promise or glow effects added, and then we'll add the Promise filter on. So as you can see, the shot is much softer in comparison and if you're struggling to see a difference between the two shots with and without the Promise filter just look at how the light tube is being affected. So with the Promise filter added we get a really nice soft light and look to the overall image. Now if we zoom in on my face you can notice just how much softer my skin is with the filter on. Now I think it's very obvious right from the off that the filter achieves a much lower contrast ratio which can be a good or bad thing depending on what look you're trying to achieve but we've used this filter on plenty of client work and love the look it achieves, especially when working with models. Now let's check out how this shot looks with no filters or effects added in comparison with the glow effect in DaVinci. So here we have our plain shot with nothing added and now let's take a look at this shot with the glow effect added. Now on initial look the difference between the shots isn't as apparent as it was with the Promis filter example, however if we turn our attention to the light tube for an obvious difference we can see just how much the glow effect is actually doing. Now because the glow effect is applied in post it's obviously not influencing the shot as much as the Promis, rather only really influencing the light instead of being baked into the whole shot and making an obvious difference to my skin. So when we zoom in on my face you can see that in this example the glow effect isn't quite softening my skin as much as the Promis filter filter was, however we can of course adjust the intensity of the glow effect, change the glow colour, its shape and spread as well as the blending, add masks in post if necessary and really dial the effects in should you want to, which is of course a huge benefit to using the glow effect in post over using a Promis filter that of course bakes that softer, less contrasty look straight into camera. And finally, let's see how the Promis shot compares directly to the glow effect in DaVinci. So again, here we have our plain shot. Now let's start by adding our Promis filter and then we'll add our glow effect. And then finally, let's compare the two side by side to see what the similarities and differences are. So what is obvious is the intensity of the filter in comparison to the glow effect. Now admittedly, we are using a quarter strength Promis filter, which is obviously gonna do far more than a one eighth strength filter and so on. But on initial impressions, I'm really liking how this Promis shot looks, especially when we're zoomed in and take a closer look at exactly what this is doing to the skin. Now I have to say I think that the glow effect still does a great job and is a super useful tool to have if you want to achieve somewhat of a similar look to the Promis filter. So we're also going to take a look at a couple of other setups we filmed with the same lighting setup just without the light tube so feel free to pause the video and take a closer look for yourselves at some more examples with no effects or filters with a Promis filter added and of course finally with the glow effect in DaVinci. So let's share our thoughts then and we'll start with our favourite, the Promis filter. The Promis just helps to achieve a really nice, much more organic look to the footage in comparison to the glow effect in DaVinci and I just love that nice soft look, especially when looking at what this does to skin by reducing wrinkles and blemishes. The filter also reduces highlights and lowers contrast, which as we mentioned previously can be a good or bad thing depending on the look that you're going for, but I like the fact that with a physical filter you can just chuck it in your kit bag, do a few test shots with and without the filter when 
you're actually on location and make your mind up there and then as to whether you're going to use it when you're filming rather than trying to film and guess what the glow effect in DaVinci is going to look like when you get back to actually editing your footage. However, it's not all positive. One of the major drawbacks, of course, is that if you film with a filter, the look you get is baked into the footage. And if you or a client decides that they don't like the look of that shot with the Promis filter for whatever reason, then there isn't really too much you can do to salvage that. Now that's where the glow effect in DaVinci really does come in. Having the ability to add a glow effect to your shots in post, which does achieve a somewhat of a similar look to the Promis filter, is a huge advantage, especially when you consider the fact that you can tailor the gain, the intensity, to see the gamma and much much more including the glow color like we've done here making the glow white rather than a warmer yellow is super useful now admittedly it can take a little while to fine tune and adding the glow effect to each and every clip in your timeline and dialing the settings in for each specific clip if you choose to do so of course can take a very very long time and finally in my opinion as good as the glow effect in DaVinci is it's still a digital effect with a digital look as it doesn't quite influence the whole shot in the same way the Promis filter does. So hopefully you guys can tell a big difference there between a shot completely without any filters or any effects added in DaVinci Resolve versus the glow effect and then the Promis. And hopefully you can tell the difference between what the Promis looks like versus the glow effect in DaVinci. Now what you prefer the look of is of course completely up to you guys. It's all personal preference and that really is the beauty of it. Now whether you decide to go ahead and purchase some expensive filters to get that Promis effect or you're happy sticking with the glow effect in DaVinci is completely up to you guys. But we'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. What do you think looks better between the Promis and the glow effect. Can you tell a difference? Do you think there's one that looks better? I prefer the Promist effect, but we'd really, really love to hear your guys' thoughts. So leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new around here and give the video a like whilst you're at it. And we'll see you guys very soon.